let's start our discussion now jason yeah yes so we can focus on our first topic in palo alto firewall training it's mm-hmm. a next generation security platform and architecture yes wait, wait. So let's talk about some Palo Alto firewall series first. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's talk about some product family information. So these are these are Palo Alto firewall devices series, Jason. Okay. Palo Alto Firewall Devices series. Mm-hmm. PS 7000, 5000. These series of the Firewall Devices we can use for a big data center network in a mm-hmm. large deployment and yep. for medium size of network for medium size of network we can go with PA 3000 series, 800 mm-hmm. series and PA 500. And for interlevel organization okay, I'm working with 50 computers, 100 computers. For yeah. entry level organization, you can go with PA two hundred series of the firewall devices. So for okay. entry level PA two hundred, let me show you this PA two hundred series of the firewall device. Mm-hmm. We can check with Google. So Palo Alto, Palo Alto two hundred series firewall device. Mm-hmm. This is entry level firewall appliance. This is entry level okay. firewall device. So you can you can see we have some data interfaces. These are data interfaces, Jason. So you no. can connect your LAN portion, your WAN portion, and DMJ network. Okay. We can we have a dedicated management port, dedicated mm-hmm. management port, and yeah. console port. This is mm-hmm. PA 200 firewall series. We have only okay. four data interfaces. But if mm-hmm. you go with if you go with PA 220, PA 220, so you can see mm-hmm. in PA yeah, 220, yeah. we have eight data interfaces. So mm-hmm. port extend now, right? Yeah. We have eight data interfaces, one console port, one management port. Mm-hmm. So PA 200 series of the firewall devices, we are using for entry level network. Entry yeah. level. And before mm-hmm. before deploy a firewall device or before buy a firewall device, you need to check Palo Alto firewall data sheet like other vendors. Okay. You oh, need to okay. check data sheet because mm-hmm. data sheet will give you the idea about firewall features, firewall capabilities. Okay. Number of features you can verify. Okay. Number of session interfaces information. So this is the URL. This URL you can use to verify yeah. uh, other next generation Palo Alto other fi- firewall series information. So Palo Alto networks.com slash yeah. product slash secure the network next generation firewall. So mm-hmm. now, so now these are these are called hardware devices. Mm-hmm. Hardware devices. Let's talk yeah. about some capabilities. Capabilities, for example, I have PA 200 series of the firewall device. Mm-hmm. This firewall device, firewall throughput is 100 Mbps. 50 Mbps is dedicated for threat prevention technique. What is threat mm-hmm. prevention technique? This content ID. It's a mm-hmm. threat prevention technique, Jason. Okay, okay. Threat prevention technique. So, wait. So, 50 Mbps is dedicated for threat prevention technique. This firewall can support 64,000 sessions. 64,000 mm-hmm. sessions. And we have four. We have four copper gigabit Ethernet interfaces. Okay. If it is not suitable for your requirement, for your organization, so you can go with higher model, PA500, for example. Mm-hmm. This firewall throughput is PA200. 250 Mbps, 100 Mbps is dedicated for threat prevention technique. Yeah. This firewall can support 64,000 sessions. So number of sessions is same. 
and we mm -hmm. have 8 copper gigabit ethernet so you can mm -hmm. go with higher model for number of interfaces for firewall throughput for number of sessions number of session see yeah pa5020 this mm -hmm. firewall firewall throughput is 5 gbps 2 gbps for threat prevention it will support 10 lakh sessions 8 8 sfp model SFP yeah. ports we have and 12 copper gigabit ethernet. Mm -hmm. So these are see, these are physical appliances. Physical appliances. In case yeah. mm -hmm. if you are looking for VM firewall box like other vendor, like mm -hmm. other vendor, like in, in checkpoint we have VM firewall box. In Fortinet we have VM firewall. In Cisco FTD we have VM firewall box. So like other vendor, Polo Alto, Polo Alto is giving you option. Giving option in case if you are looking a uh, firewall, looking for firewall, okay, in virtualization network, like in AWS, in Azure network, in, in VMware, in EXXI network. So, yes, yeah. you can go with VM firewall device. VM mm -hmm. firewall device. This is the series PAVM 500, PAVM 1000, HP, PAVM 300, PAVM 100, PAVM 50. So these are mm -hmm. firewall series for VM firewall okay. box. And yes, you can go with, you can go with physical appliances. Mm -hmm. Doesn't clear my point? Yeah, it's clear. Now, now let's talk about architecture of Palo Alto firewall device. So this is complete. This is complete Palo Alto firewall device. And this firewall device, this Palo Alto firewall device is divided into two different plane. Mm -hmm. This firewall is divided into two different plane, control plane and yeah. data plane. So your management related task, your management port, your management related task yeah. is part of control plane. Okay. It's part of control plane. So for example, mm -hmm. your management port this is your management port, MGMT port. You can connect with management PC. In control plane, we have dedicated CPU, RAM, and hard disk. Clear now? And now yeah. we have data plane. For data traffic, we have data plane for data traffic. Control mm -hmm. plane for management. Data plane for data traffic. So, mm -hmm. in data plane, we have three separate processors. We have three separate processors. Signature match processor, multi-core yeah. security processor, and networking processor. When traffic will hit, when traffic will hit on firewall ingress interface, ingress mm -hmm. interface, yeah. then Palo Alto will create a three copy. Follow Alto mm -hmm. will create a three copy of this traffic of mm -hmm. this packet and it will submit to each processor. It will submit to each processor and they will process they will process the traffic parallelly. It's not one by one, Jason. Yeah. They process yeah. this traffic parallelly. Mm -hmm. Parallelly. That's why this architecture is called this architecture is called SP3 architecture. Polo Alto okay. is using SP3 architecture to forward traffic. What is SP3? Single path parallel processing. Okay. So each processor will process traffic parallelly. For example, one processor is taking one second, one second, one second, and they are processing this traffic parallelly. So it will take only mm -hmm. one second to process your traffic, right? Mm -hmm. This is called SP3 architecture. Every next generation of our device using this architecture. Clear now? Jason, yes. Yes, let's, clear. let's talk in detail. Okay, let's mm -hmm. talk in detail about control plane and data plane. Wait. Control plane and data plane.
okay this page can help you so now our our discussion is what sp3 architecture sp3 architecture, yeah. SP3 architecture. so palo alto firewall device i told you palo alto firewall device device is divided into two different plane control plane and mm -hmm. data plane mm -hmm. so in control plane we have management processor management pro processor and yeah. in in data plane we have three separate processor networking mm -hmm. processor security processor and content processor mm -hmm. what is content okay. processor you can say content processor or you can say signature match processor it's the same okay yes, it's the same so mm -hmm. content processor security processor and networking processor what yeah. is the work of each processor each engine so here we have option networking processor mm -hmm. networking engine or networking processor is responsible for routing flow yeah. lookup status counting nat and similar functions are performed on network specific hardware mm -hmm. now for user id for user id app id policy configuration we have a dedicated engine or processor multi core security processor mm -hmm. multi core security processor so encryption decryption user id app id policy configuration for these options multi core security processor is responsible mm -hmm. content id content id so yes we have security profile topic topic is content id so for content id we have a dedicated processor is called content id processor or you can say signature match processor okay signature match processor control plane control plane yes we are using for management so yeah. in control plane we have a dedicated management processor so mm -hmm. all for all management related tasks we have a separate processor it's called management processor clear my point yeah yeah, yeah i get it okay now let's go to slides so now yeah. let's discuss let's discuss this control plane and data plane again so control plane, I told you, Palo Alto, as I said, Palo Alto is divided into two different planes. The first one is a control plane and second is data plane. So I have one Palo Alto firewall device. This is PA firewall device. Yeah. PA firewall device. This portion I'm using as a LAN. This one is DMZ and this one is outside. Okay. So LAN, DMZ and outside. Mm -hmm. outside okay we have one management port here management port so this is mgmt port mgmt yeah. port mm -hmm. so let's talk about control plane again so control plane only for two traffic management yeah. traffic yeah. used for management mm -hmm. yes so if you are configuring anything if you want to configure anything if you mm -hmm. want to do management related tasks, you need yeah. control plane. So only for two traffic use for management. So we can mm -hmm. connect our management PC. Mm -hmm. We can connect our MGMT PC with Palo Alto Viable device. This yeah. control plane, this control plane is also responsible for, also responsible for HA. HA. So yeah. if you if you talk about high availability configuration in Palo Alto firewall scenario, mm -hmm. this is PA firewall device, this is PA firewall device, and in Palo Alto, yes, we need two separate link. I told you, HA one mm -hmm. control link, and HA two data link, right? Mm -hmm. So for see, this control plane, it's also responsible. See. Control plane is also responsible for HA. So this part, this part, this HA1, this is part of control plane. Yeah. It is a part of control plane. Control session plane. synchronization. For session synchronization, yes, control plane is responsible. Mm -hmm. What is session synchronization? If traffic is traveling through the firewall device, 
if traffic is traveling through the foul device then firewall mm. will maintain the state of connection in connection table in session table this mm -hmm. session table firewall box 1 will exchange with firewall box 2 mm -hmm. so this session synchronization it's a part of control plane yeah logging by default logging is a part of control plane logging means what mm -hmm. i have a connectivity like this wait logging means what logs so i have a connectivity like this in my network i have one switch okay and this is management mm -hmm. pc and i have two remote logging server for example this is syslog server and this is snmp server SNMP server. Mm -hmm. So I can connect my cable. Wait, I can connect my cable. So by default, by default, if traffic is traveling through the firewall device, if traffic will hit on firewall device, for all logs, Polo Alto is using control plane. So all logs is a part of management port. Clear my point? That's why we need to deploy our syslog and mm -hmm. SNMP on management network side. We need to deploy by default. In case, Jason, in case in your network, in case in your network, syslog and SNMP, it's not part mm -hmm. of it's not part of management. It's not part of management. Okay. In your scenario, in your scenario, syslog server and SNMP server, they are the part of DMZ. Then Maybe, okay. right? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can change this behavior. By default, for logging, control plane is responsible, okay? Mm -hmm. But management, management side. But you can change this behavior. If syslog server, SNMP server is not available in your land side, in your management side, nature, it is a part mm -hmm. of DMZ. You can yeah. change this behavior. I will show you practically, okay? How to change this behavior. Mm -hmm. But clear my point? Yeah. For signature update, Palo Alto is a next generation firewall device. Next generation firewall device. So we need to we need to download latest signature update. Mm -hmm. Latest signature update to detect okay. malicious information. So for signature update, by default, Palo Alto is using management port or you can say control plane. Mm -hmm. So you can what you can do, you can put a you can put a separate ISP connection. This is Wi-Fi modem, okay? You need to put a separate ISP connection in management network side. Clear my point? Management network. See, this. you need to put your internet connection in management network side. Okay. Because, for, okay. because to download latest signature update, Palo mm -hmm. Alto is using management, management port by default or you can say no. control plane. Oh, okay. Okay. But in case, Jason, in case internet connection is not available in my management network, in case okay. I have an ISP connection, but only mm -hmm. on outside interface. Okay. I have a, so you can change this behavior, no problem. Okay. You to download latest signature update, you want to use this data interface. This fast Ethernet 0 slash 2, this data interface, if you want to use, yes, you can change this behavior, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Palo Alto operating system, Palo Alto operating system known as Pan OS. Pan OS, yeah. like in 14.8, we have 40 OS version. Mm -hmm. Okay. In Checkpoint, we have Gaia operating system. In Palo yeah. Alto, it's a Pan OS. Pan OS. And it's a Linux based operating system. Mm -hmm. Palo Alto is an object oriented firewall device. Palo yeah. Alto, Checkpoint, Fortinet, they are what? They are called object oriented firewall. You can create objects here IP address mm -hmm. object, subnet object, range object, services object. So you can create objects and these objects you can use in your configuration. Mm -hmm. Now, Palo Alto is a zone based firewall. So, yeah. Palo Alto, Checkpoint, and FTT. These are what? Mm -hmm. Zone based firewall. And in case if you are working with any zone based firewall, so you need to create policy manually to allow your traffic from one zone to another zone. Okay. 
Okay, interface should be configured to a respective zone. So yes, we can create a zone and we can assign interfaces to respective zones. By mm -hmm. default, by default, these services are not enabled on any data interface. On okay. any data interface. It's like a 14 mm -hmm. Nothing is allowed on data interface. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I have I have one Polo Alto file device. One Polo Alto file device. This portion is LAN portion. This portion is what? WAN portion. And this side is what? DMJ side network. Mm -hmm. And management port. Yes, I have I have one management port. This is MGMT port. So I can connect my management PC. Yeah. So by default on this management port, only on management port, mm -hmm. these services are enabled only on management port. Ping, SSH, and HTTPS. If you talk about this data interface, this data interface, this data interface, nothing is allowed. Mm -hmm. okay. Security policy. Security policy should be configured to communicate between multiple zones. Mm -hmm. If you want to allow your traffic from one zone to another zone. For example, you want to allow your traffic. You want to allow your traffic from LAN to LAN to WAN site. Yes, you need security mm -hmm. policy. Okay. Like in 148, we are creating firewall policy. Yeah. In checkpoint, we are creating access policy. Here we have security policy. Mm -hmm. Traffic is always unidirectional from source to destination unidirectional it means if if you want to allow your traffic from LAN to van you need separate firewall policy and if you want to allow your traffic from van to LAN, you need separate firewall policy clear now jason okay okay yeah, yeah i get it now now policy based forwarding so in polo world to firewall we have policy based forwarding mm -hmm. policy based forwarding concept Mm -hmm. Okay, same type of concept we have in 148. 148. It's called it's called policy route. It's a part of NSC7 training. I'm only giving an idea. So okay. in router, we have route map. Or in router, we have policy, policy based routing, PBR concept. In routing. In okay. Polo World 2, you can say PBF, policy based forwarding. Mm -hmm. policy based forwarding yeah in 148 policy route we have okay so what is policy based forwarding so in policy based forwarding if you have some entry if you have some entry in policy based forwarding so it will overwrite your security policy rule my point is you have a rule if this source is trying to communicate with this server okay Traffic is what? Allow. Traffic is what? Allow. Mm -hmm. And for same source and same destination, you have a rule in your security policy and traffic is denied. So firewall will check traffic information in policy based forwarding first. If it is allowed, it will not check traffic information in security policy rule. Clear this sequence? Okay. Polo okay. Alto yeah. will check policy based forwarding first. Mm -hmm. Clear now? Yeah. After yeah. that, it will check traffic information in security policy rule. Mm -hmm. Security policy rule. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about packet flow concept. How traffic is traveling through Polo Alto firewall device. Mm -hmm. How traffic is traveling? Let's talk about packet flow. Wait. So this is Polo Alto. I'm talking about basic idea. Okay. Basic idea, Jason. Okay. But if you talk about a uh, packet flow in deep. So yes, we can discuss. We have a proper topic to discuss. Mm -hmm. Packet flow. Packet flow concept in Polo Alto firewall device. How traffic is traveling through yeah. Polo Alto. But right now I'm giving you basic idea. Basic idea first. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. is this is complete Polo Alto firewall device. Mm -hmm. Complete Polo Alto firewall device. 
and now when traffic will hit on ingress interface when mm. traffic will hit on ingress interface so let's create a topology i have polo alto firewall device this portion is your LAN side. So you have some LAN computer. This side you have ISP portion. ISP so outside server 8.8.8.8. So my point is if this inside machine IP address 192.168.10.10. If this inside machine is trying to communicate with 8.8.8. .8 .8. So this okay. traffic, this traffic will hit on firewall interface, right? Mm -hmm. This interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. This interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. This interface we are using as a LAN. This interface, it's a part of WAN. Mm -hmm. So my point is when traffic when traffic will hit on firewall ingress interface ingress mm -hmm. interface so firewall will do initial packet processing first yeah firewall will do initial packet processing and in initial packet processing firewall will check source zone information yeah source address information source user information so firewall will check source zone source address source ip address source ip and source user information so as mm -hmm. per as per your uh, this topology as per this topology, source zone is LAN zone, right? Okay, yeah. Source IP is what? 192, 168, 10.10. .10. Yeah. And source user, let's take a username, user1. So mm -hmm. firewall will first check source zone, source yeah. address, and source user. After that, firewall will check, okay, you want to go on 8.8.8. .8 .8. Let mm -hmm. me check my forwarding lookup, routing table, routing table, or let me check, wait. Let me check my routing table, routing table, or policy-based forwarding table for yeah. to, reach, to reach this destination. After routing table, Favel can identify, yes, I have a default route towards ISP. Mm -hmm. I have a default route towards ISP, and this is what, exit interface. This is exit interface. So based on routing table, firewall can get what? Exit interface information, right? Yeah. For any unknown destination. For mm -hmm. any unknown destination. This is exit interface. And this interface is a part of, Jason? Yeah. It's a part of? It's a part of? Uh, uh, Van Van right? Yeah. yeah. So now... Now, based on forwarding table or routing table, firewall can get what? Destination zone. Yes, destination zone. Mm -hmm. This interface is actually interface. This interface is participating WAN. So yeah. it's a destination zone. So now mm -hmm. firewall has source zone and destination zone. Destination zone. Okay. So it will go and check NAT option because traffic is traveling. Traffic mm -hmm. is traveling from one zone to another zone so yeah. firewall will check is there any nat nat rule available because traffic is traveling from private network to public network or from one zone to another zone yeah so firewall will check nat policy mm -hmm. now it will go for next step security pre policy in security yeah. pre policy firewall will check allow port so ports are allowed traffic is traveling Okay, this inside machine is trying to establish his session first. Mm -hmm. so traffic is traveling, session created. Okay. Now with this session, within a session, now you can access your application. You can work with security pro pro profile. I'm not talking about these options right now. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about basic right now. 
basic mm -hmm. packet flow. So firewall will check NAT option. Maybe you have source NAT mm -hmm. or maybe you have destination NAT rule. Destination NAT rule. So based on your uh, traffic flow, firewall can check NAT. It will mm -hmm. apply NAT here and then yeah. forward traffic to egress interface. Mm -hmm. This is what a basic packet flow concept. Okay. I hope it's okay. clear for you. Yeah, yeah, this was just clear. Okay. Okay, now, now, wait. Okay, what is basic configuration? What is basic con? Okay, let me let me start Apollo Ultra Firewall device so we can do some basic basic implementation. Okay. Uh, Jason, can you hear me, dear? Yes. yes. Jason, okay. Okay. Now, so let's talk about initial configuration. So I have one Palo Alto firewall device. This interface I'm using as a management port, so we can connect our management PC, management mm -hmm. PC with this interface. Default IP address is one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one on management port. We can yeah. configure same series series of IP address here. Default username admin password admin. Mm -hmm. Let's let's try now. Wait. So I just start this Polo Alto firewall device. This will take time. Okay. Okay. This will take time. So let's take a break for 10 minutes. Yep. Then we can continue. This Polo okay. Alto will take uh, to start. It will take minimum 10 to 15 minutes, Jason. Oh, that's the long one. Okay. Yeah. So please wait. Okay. We can continue. It's a 134. We can try to continue at 145. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Please yeah. turn off your mic. This will take time.
Hello, uh, Jason, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Jason, let's try to log in, okay? Okay. This is Palo Alto Firewall mm -hmm. console page, okay? This is console page. So I'm trying to log in with username and password. Default mm -hmm. username is admin. Yeah. And password is admin. When you log in with your username and password first time, you can mm -hmm. see you need to change your password first. So okay. old password admin and new password I'm using pass at the rate 123. Okay. So now you are in Palo Alto Firewall. See? Mm -hmm. You can yeah, type yeah. question mark to verify all commands information into this mode. To configure anything, you can type configure command. You can go in configuration mode and okay. here you can configure all the configuration. And to verify anything, you can go to this exec mode. This is greater okay. than symbol. Oh, okay. So let's yeah. let's verify. Let's verify first IP address configuration. So interface IP address configuration on management port. Let's verify IP address. Mm -hmm. Show interface management. You can press enter. So we don't have, you can see, we don't have IP address. IP address unknown, right? Mm -hmm. Mask okay. unknown. Yeah. No mm -hmm. IP address configuration on management mm -hmm. port. So in case if you want to configure IP address on management port, yeah. you can go in configuration mode and command syntax set device config. Set device config system mm -hmm. type static. Why static? Because by default on management port, on management port, Mm -hmm. DSCP service is enabled. DSCP service. Yeah. So if you connect your management port with any DSCP server, mm -hmm. any DSCP server, it will get IP address automatically. Mm -hmm. Automatically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So right now, right now, I want to configure IP address statically. So method mm -hmm. is static. Yeah. Now you can configure your IP address. Set device config system IP address. And mm -hmm. for example, 199 IP address 199, 199, 199.1, mask 255, 255, 255.0. Done. You can press enter. Okay. And whenever you configure anything in Palo Alto firewall device, you need to live this configuration. You need to save this configuration. Right now, mm -hmm. this configuration is not live. Yes. Okay. Okay. If you remember 14.8, in 14.8, we can type in the command to save our configuration to live our configuration. Mm -hmm. In checkpoint, we can use save config command to save okay. our configuration. And mm -hmm. in Palo Alto Firewall device, if you if you configure anything, you need to commit your configuration. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a it's Juniper fine. Firewall device. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. It's like a Juniper. You need to type mm -hmm. commit command to mm -hmm. save your configuration to live your configuration. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this yes. will take time. Okay. This will take time. Mm Okay, now configuration committed successfully. Exit. Show interface. So interface management. So mm -hmm. interface management. So now you can see you have IP address on management port. Krish, okay. uh, Jason, clear now? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I see it. Okay, let's continue this topic tomorrow into this topology. Okay. Into this topology. Mm -hmm. Let's continue this basic configuration tomorrow, Jason. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Tomorrow, same time at 1 p.m. Okay. Bye, dear. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye.